I want to prophesy to a few nations. Namely, in Kenya. Kenya. I saw a new spiritual people. Pure in a heart. Rising to leadership in the church. They are currently unknown to many people. But they are taking the spiritual center stage of Kenya. And some of them are connected directly to us. Number two. In America, Ugandans have been known to be in Boston. But the tears of people that have suffered in Boston at the hands of other Ugandans God has distanced himself from Boston. And there is a new, a new move towards the center of America but on the upper side. People are going to move there. That destination of Ugandans in, in, to go to Boston has ended. The grace to operate there has ceased. Because of the people who are there and I've been operating churches there and I've heard the people of God. You're going to see several deportations of ministers. You will hear because of the mess they have caused. In Britain, there is a shake-up coming. I can see abrupt changes in the political arena. There are people who are going to eat their words. And after they eat them, they will not appear in public again. The church in Britain is going to be shaken to be woken up. There is a new generation that God is raising in Britain. I see a Britain. revival in a country called German and it's starting in secondary schools. Kids are going to meet in break time and lunch time. And it is going to sweep for the first time we are going to see the people who are going to take the gospel to Arab nations become saved in Germany. And this thing will sweep into European countries, Scandinavian countries. It's going to be called a new thing. Prayer will eat up those schools. And as for you, your eyes will see it. Your feet will walk in these things. And concerning Nigeria, the Lord says that there is a judgment that is looming over the nation. And this judgment will be manifested in the political scene. Players of politics, the Lord wants to visit. And that's the end of my parable about that matter. But the judgment comes. And the effect of the judgment will be seen in the political scene. I am not giving permission to go deeper. But he that has ears, in fact, don't worry, you don't need ears. You will see it happen. <laughs> it, it can even happen today because from this crossover, it's already ripe. A judgment is coming. 
and it is going to be manifested in the political scene. Number two, he said, pray against a riot that is more deadly than the NSAS movement. Pray. What did I say? Now, this word I'm giving is not for it to come to pass. It's so that we can pray. Did you hear that? It said, pray to avert a riot which will be more deadly than the NSAS movement. A riot that can cripple Nigeria. Something happened, which I, do, I want to keep quiet. Something happened, and that thing that happened triggered a riot. So the Lord says, what? I can't hear you. So listen to me very well. This prophecy is not declared for it to come to pass. It's declared so that we can pray. And if we do not pray, you will see a riot. A riot that it would have been, it would have been better if it didn't come. Pray. The rest, they are too heavy for me to, to say. Maybe I will pray on it, and then during January contact, I can tell you that. But I will end here. Pray. That what? To have that a riot.